Today's video was requested by Strongboy. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 10. Devil's Pool, Australia The Devil's Pool, a water formation at the top of Victoria Falls, is a gorgeous spot to swim at the edge of a massive cascade. It's also the place where more than 15 men have perished over the past 60 years. Legend says all the deaths are the direct consequence of a woman's broken heart. Ulana was a beautiful woman married to a tribe elder who fell in love with a married man who convinced her to escape with him. They were captured, yet the lovers managed to break free and threw themselves in the devil's pool, where they thought to have met a gruesome end after plummeting down the waterfall. Those visitors, brave enough to swim close to the edge, claim they can hear Ulana's screams even after all these years. Number 9. Great Salt Lake, Utah Many years ago, a man by the name of Jean Baptiste began robbing graves around Salt Lake City, taking the clothes and jewelry of the dead. He was incredibly prolific, opening over 300 graves and turning public opinion against him. They wanted him hanged, but his crimes weren't terrible enough to merit this punishment, so justice got creative instead, forcing Jean to carry his crimes on his forehead. He was marked with the words, branded for robbing the dead and his ears were cut off. To add insult to injury, Jean was taken to an abandoned island in the Great Salt Lake and left there to die, alone and miserable. His ghost is said to haunt the lake many decades after his death, a constant reminder of his gruesome punishment. Official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. Some of it is to die for. Number 8. Lake Ronkonkoma, New York New York appears in our list as well as a dangerous lady of the lake. This version though is far more deadly than the Texas legend. Many centuries ago in the 1600s, a Native American princess by the name of Tuscawanta and a white man called Hugh Birdsall fell madly in love. Her father though didn't approve of their relationship and separated them for good. The lovers were kept apart by the length of the lake and Tuscawanta tried sending messages to her lover by carving love letters on tree barks and throwing them into the lake. She hoped they'd reach Hugh, but she never heard from him again. Heartbroken, she rode to the middle of the Ronkonkoma Lake and killed herself, swearing to drown a man every single year. Through the centuries, many men, women and even children have drowned in this ominous location. Visitors can't swim in the lake any longer because of algae bloom so it seems the Lady of the Lake will have to go without victims for a while. Number 7. Chuk Lagoon, Micronesia Chuk Lagoon was the site of a massive battlefield toward the end of World War II between the Japanese and American forces in February 1944. Though it lasted as little as two days, the lagoon was still dubbed the biggest graveyard of ships in the world. It's estimated that around 250 Japanese planes and 50 ships were destroyed in this area, littering the lagoon's waters with corpses. For over two decades, this terrible spot was mostly forgotten by everybody but the natives inhabiting the surroundings. It wasn't until Jacques Cousteau's 1969 documentary that people began visiting the lagoon to scuba dive in its waters, retrieving bodies that had been long since forgotten. It's no wonder Chuck Lagoon's visitors report countless sightings of ghosts over the years, given the number of soldiers who perished in its dark waters. Before we move on, answer this question. Why are ghosts most commonly detected at night? Is it because A. They're easier cloaked by the darkness. B. They can move around more freely when humans are asleep. C. It's quieter and therefore easier to scare people. D. Fewer electronic devices are in use. Number 6. Okaiku's Well, Japan Okaiku's Well is hidden inside a massive, ancient castle in Japan's city of Himeji. It's considered one of the Land of the Rising Sun's most haunted bodies of water, even if it's nowhere near as big as a river or even a pond. Legend says a young servant girl's beauty caught the eye of a samurai who happened to be married. Not wanting to become his mistress, she refused his advances. The samurai was furious about the rejection and threw her into the well, killing her horribly in the process. The girl's ghost remained on earth wanting to take revenge on the cruel samurai, 
She haunted him every single night until he went mad with fear. This legend loosely inspired the popular horror film Ringu, which in turn was remade as the American movie The Ring. You'll probably never see a well the same way again. Number 5. Sacco River, Maine Maine is the home state of renowned horror novelist Stephen King, so it's no wonder it's also home to one of the world's most haunted rivers. The cursing of these waters dates back to 1675, when three white men abandoned their ship and boarded a small rowing boat. Being drunk and foolish, or perhaps even plain cruel, they noticed a Native American woman with her baby son riding a canoe. They stole the baby from his mother's arms and threw it in the water, believing he'd be able to swim. Though the woman jumped into the river to save her son, the baby ended up dying a week later as a consequence of the sailor's horrible actions. The dead boy's father, chief of the local tribe, cursed the river in retaliation, beaconing water spirits to steal the lives of three white men every year. Number 4. White Rock Lake, Texas The White Rock Lake became a tourist attraction back in 1911, an idyllic location for people to hike, enjoy a picnic by the water, go fishing or even host an event in the park surrounding it. Though it's a beautiful place, visitors should be cautious not to run into the Lady of the Lake. She's said to be a young woman who was either involved in a fatal accident, a murder victim, or who took her own life. The lady sometimes appears clad in a nightgown, though she's also been seen wearing a wedding dress. She always asks for a ride near the White Rock Lake, soaking wet and looking sad and desperate. This ghost sobs silently during the ride, usually sitting on the back seat of those foolish enough to offer her a ride. By the time the driver arrives at the destination she asked to be taken to, the young woman is nowhere to be seen, having disappeared into thin air. So far, it seems the lady isn't dangerous, just plain creepy. But would you really want to risk it? Number 3. Blackwater River, Florida Florida might be the sunshine state, but there's nothing bright and sunny about the Blackwater River. Even its name's ominous. Residents in the area warn visitors to think twice before dipping into its dark waters. They've regularly noticed a pale woman with long black hair lurking around the riverside. The woman smells of rotting flesh and will try to drown unsuspecting victims, dragging them toward the depths of the river with evil intentions. Locals have tried to explain the reason behind this ghost's cruel ways. Apparently, the state park the river runs through was the location of a brutal ritual which resulted in the death of a young woman dressed in a white gown. If you ever choose to visit the Blackwater River and notice a pale-looking young lady clad all in white, don't get in the water or look at her in the eyes. Just run the other way and you should be safe. So why are ghosts most commonly detected at night? If you guess D, you're right. Since fewer electronic devices are in use in the middle of the night, it's easier for EMF meters to pick up on fluctuations in electromagnetic fields. Number 2. Queen Mary Hotel's Swimming Pool, California Once an ocean liner, it was transformed into a hotel back in the 60s. The Queen Mary might be among the most haunted inns in America. Its first-class swimming pool may very well be completely ghost-infected. It's said that two women drowned in the pool while the ship was still sailing across the North Atlantic between 1930 and 1960. Most guests seem to agree there are a couple of frequent spirits roaming the poolside, an older woman and a kid named Jackie. Jackie loves to play hide-and-seek with the guests, but only at night. Some people even claim they've noticed wet footprints appearing out of nowhere at the edge of the pool. Number 1. Hessian Lake, New York it's no wonder Hessian Lake is thought to be haunted. It might look like a beautiful body of water resting at the base of a grand mountain, but there's much more to it than meets the eye. During the Revolutionary War, this was the site of a great battle where British and German armies joined efforts to defeat the American revolutionaries. Hessian was the name given to the soldiers who aided the British forces in their war against the new nation. Over 250 Hessians died during this battle and their bloody bodies rolled onto the lake tainted his water red. This led the area to be dubbed the Bloody Lake. Another curious detail about the Hessian Lake is that it's located not far from the town of Sleepy Hollow, where the author, Washington Irving, wrote the horror story centered around Ichabod Crane and the Headless Horseman. People who frequent the lake 
claim they've often seen Hessian soldiers walking around the shore in the dead of night, sometimes missing several limbs and staring at them with glowing red eyes. Thanks for watching. Would you rather encounter a ghost while canoeing in the middle of a lake at night or wake up next to a tarantula crawling on your bed?